Hi guys. So today we are checking out this. What is it exactly? Well, it is a device for measuring the amount of water in the soil and determining whether a plant is healthy or unhealthy. So, how does it work? I have shown you in my previous videos that water is conductive. So, if you submerge two ends of a wire in so that we know if the plant is properly hydrated or not. We can use such a simple system to determine whether a plant is healthy. It's as simple as that. So let's try it in real soil to see if it works. As you can see here, I have taken two pins. The red one is from the anode. So it has a positive charge. The green wire does not have charge. This is the pin connected to A0. So it, it will read the voltage coming in. If it's connected like this, which means it's not connected, so there's no voltage at all. So it, the Arduino will think that it is dry. In a real world scenario, when the soil is dry, there's no water. So no, nothing conducts. So then it stops. If we add too much water, all of the voltage from the positive, which is exactly 5 volts, will come to the green pin. So it is equivalent to connecting both the pins. So then the Arduino will think it is flooded. Why isn't it perfect? Do you really think that flooding a plant with entirely water is healthy? No. So then it will tell it's wet. But if it's just right with some voltage passing through, then it will tell it's healthy since it's not too dry nor too wet. So this is what is happening inside this setup. So for a few tests, let's see what we have here. So the materials I've used are some jumper wires. Here I've used some male to female jumper wires and the rest are mostly male to male jumper wires. So male to female, two of them, male to male, quite a lot, breadboard, Arduino, a variable resistance and an LCD display. So for the power, I have this cable, let's plug it in yeah and plug it into the power supply so as you can see it has turned on so it says it's okay and so let's take some water I mean it's a lot of water put it in yeah so now it's saying wet it's saying wet since these two are passing currents in this if you wipe it out it goes it says dry so as you can see, it does in fact work in theory. Let's try in practice. We have a pot. Let's lift it up a bit. So guys, as you can see, it says dry. So yes, I haven't plugged it in. But when I am plugging it in, it says okay it's perfect it's perfect yay we have plugged it in both our ends are full of dirt let's just remove the dirt so as you can see it does in fact work in real life applications 
So guys, I've poured a lot of water. It's kind of wet here. And okay, let's arrange him there. Let's plug. So now it says wet. So guys, it says wet. So guys, as you saw, it does in fact work and you can use this to sprout many seeds. So it will tell you when you need to pour water and when you need to stop pouring water. When it says OK, it's a way of it saying enough pouring water. So if you pour too much water, it will say wet. So that makes you understand no, you're not supposed to pour that much water. And so, yeah, this is how it works. Now, let's look at how the code is. So, guys, we are back. So, let's check out the code. So, here, the first line, we are calling the Liquid Crystal Library, which is a short form of code which tells the computer that this function means this. So it's just like a, a notebook of some sort which the computer needs. So then it can determine whether the function is for closing, opening or whatever it needs to do. So let's now check on the code. First line, liquid crystal LCD and it gives out the pins. So it brings it to the liquid crystal library and checks. So it will understand that 8 is the pin. So then void setup. Here it sets up the code. The lines which set up a code. And then pin mode 6 input which says that Pin 6 is input. Well, I'm pretty sure you don't need it, but still. Void loop, float A. And why did we use float? Before I would use int. Well, the difference is simple. Floats use decimal values, but integers use whole numbers. So, if you type 1.5 in, the integer will consider it as 1. So, it is very, uh, it will create a lot of issues in the system. Since there are some values like 1.25, what does it mean? That means the int will consider it as 2, uh, 25, 25, that's it. It doesn't consider the 0.5. So, that can mess up a lot of things. So it may only interpret stuff as ones and zeros then. It will consider high as one, low as zero, if it's an int. So since it's a float, it can consider any one. I mean anything. It can even consider decimals. So next line, A equals analog read zero. So it says that the analog pin zero is literally the pin which you need to check to and so a means analog pin zero and then lcd dot begin well uh, 16 comma 12 it defines the lcd display here we have a 16 by 2 display so you can check 16 by 2 displays on Google, you'll find it out. So next is where we get into the tricky part. So it's everything, now everything is inside a loop. So that means it loops around forever. So we are moving on to the if statements. So if we have enabled this line, it will just print the values the values that it is getting. So here we are checking the values to a format that we will understand rather than some number gibberish. So for that we need if statements. This is just like a road path. We have two ways to move. But if one condition is correct, we want to go to one destination, not the other, we'll choose one route. If we need to go to the other destination, we will go to the other route. 
Similarly, the if statement, this part is what it checks for. If a equals 1, 0, 2, 3, that means if it's at its maximum, then the path it chooses is LCD print wet. So it will print wet. So else, if that's not where we want to go, it will check again. If uh, a is less than or equal to 1, 8, 2. So this will check if it's lower, if it's at the lowest point it can go. Then it will say dry. What if it is neither? It's not too wet, not too dry at the sweet spot. So that's what we have given here. So we have just simply given if a greater than 3839 uh, or a less than 164 or again A uh, less than 836 or A greater than 164 say OK. So that means the, the plant is at its sweet spot. So that's what this giant code means. So these lines they represent or if it's any of those will count so guys that's it it's absolute, um, that's absolutely it that's all we need to do so that's the entire code so guys as you saw when we connected both the pins into water or even to the soil it conducts and it says okay so what happens is it goes through the entire line and as I said of the root thing, so here there are three ways we can go. So what happens is it first starts at one point, no, if it's not the case, it moves to the next, that's not the case, it moves to the last. The last will be it, it's no other option, there's no other value that can come in between. So this is a simple code that can provide a simple application for a simple product. So that's it guys. Let's see back. Bye guys.